Welcome to Spore, which is a video game which you can download a piece of and use with your students. And it's really exciting for students and they really get into this game. Uh, before I get started showing you how to download and all that stuff, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the game itself. Spore was a game that was created about three or four years ago by a guy named Will Wright, who you may know uh, also created the game The Sims and all those offshoots. It was supposed to be the next big thing in the video game world. It never really took off as much as The Sims did, but it's still a really cool game that you can use with your students. Alright, what is the game? Well, the game itself has five parts, and, and if you actually buy the game, you get the full version. And all five parts of the game, it, it, it does evolution in stages, basically. You start off as a single-celled organism, you evolve into a, tr into a creature, the creature finds other creatures involved into a tribe, that tribe evolves into a civilization, which you try to take over the globe, and then that civilization gets advanced enough and blasts in outer space, and then you can try and control or create the universe. It's a really neat game um, that you can look, learn more about if you go to Spore.com. Now the part that's free is a just a piece of the game, which is the Creature Creator. And it's just a small piece of the game, but it's still a really cool thing to use with kids. Now here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download the program. You're just going to click on Try Now. It takes you to this page, uh, Spore.com slash trial. And this is the actual link that's on Teacher Tech Fids. So if you click the link from Teacher Tech Fids, it takes you straight to this page. You got PC or Mac, so all you do is click and it will download the program and let you start building some of these funky creatures. Now I've already downloaded the program, so I'm just going to click on the download and let it run. Because there's a couple things as this thing loads um, that you might want to see uh, to put it on your own computer. Now what I do in my school and other schools I've been in is I encourage them to uh, get this download file, which is about a 200 meg file, and put it on a shared folder or something like that. And then, since it's free, you can go ahead and, on each computer that you have, uh, get to your network folder and then uh, run the exe file straight from your network file folder. That way you can put it on any computer that you can get to the network folder. Or you can put it on a flash drive and do it that way. It's just faster if you've got network folders. When you do go to set up the program, you just click on Next accept the terms. Um, keep this just like that. Um, I sometimes, depending on the lab, I take the desktop shortcut off, you know, so kids might not get onto it. You can leave it on. Either way, it's fine with me. I'm going to leave it on. And it's going to go ahead and install the program. Now, one thing about this program is it's completely free. So if you have people in your department, in your IT department, that are balking at it, um, you can tell them it's a completely free download and it runs good on most computers. Uh, and this part, install the latest EA download manager, I say no. And then I'm going to take this off and I'm going to launch it right now. When you go to install it, it might ask you to install a, a separate program called DirectX 9. Um, if you don't have that on your computers, you will have to install that. It's another free download. But once you get it going, it'll come up just like this comes up with a bit of an explosion here in just a moment. So when the kids get into it, um, when they load it up, what I usually do is I show them the program and I just let them play because they will discover this program on their own and they'll really get a, a good hang of it. When this comes up, I'm going to click on X. This is a spot and registration. You do not need to register. All I do on this one is hit don't prompt and cancel. And then you've got two things here. You've got load a creature you've already created, or click on this to create a creature yourself. I'm going to click on this, and that'll be the end of this video, getting started. In the next video, we'll actually start creating our creature.